Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted this misty mountain pine tree forest using acrylic paints. It's a great project for learning color mixing, great for beginners and children. Uh, so let's get started and I'll show you how I did it. I started out with an eight by eight inch canvas panel. You can use whatever size you'd like and just adjust it uh, accordingly. I mixed up some white with quinacridone magenta and ultramarine blue to make a soft purple color. It's very close to white. It's not very tinted, uh, very dark. And I covered the top third of my canvas with this. I watered it down a little bit to make it easier to smooth on there. Then for my next layer, my first layer of pine trees, I added some magenta and blue with white to make a, a tint just a one maybe one shade lighter or darker than my background color so it's a soft kind of pinkish purple color closer to pink than blue and I'm just using my brush to tap in some vertical lines to create my pine trees they're kind of a cone shape so keep the tip very thin and then as you go out widen them just slightly as you go down toward the bottom I just made sure that I kind of kept them random and went up and down varied them height uh, the very tips of some of some of them will go all the way up to the top of the canvas just about and then I smoothed out the extra paint toward the bottom there just to kind of pull it down and make sure that I had room for my next layer. You want to go down a little bit farther than you think you need to so that you give plenty of room for your next layer of trees to have that color underneath. And then I'm adding a little bit more blue so I'm going one shade darker and a little bit more of the ultramarine blue. I haven't made I haven't cleaned out my brush so I'm keeping all of those previous colors on there and my paint is still wet underneath so it's also blending with the underneath colors as I'm doing this it's tapping and kind of picking up some of those colors from my first layers just make sure that you're not mimicking your upper layers too much you kind of want to keep it random so that it doesn't look like your trees are all lined up or all sort of uh, symmetrical The more random the better with nature. Now I'm pulling in even a little bit more darker blue. This is the ultramarine blue again. And going one shade darker with this ultramarine blue. And it's mixing with that purple color that was the previous layer, so it's kind of creating a nice soft purpley blue if you're doing this project with children you could probably pre mix these colors if you wanted to or use craft paints that are already pre mixed you could do them in rainbow colors you could do all kinds of different things with it any kind of color scheme really would work you could even use one, do a, a monotone color scheme and use white and black as your uh, tinting and shadow colors. So here I'm going back over and adding a little bit more of the darker blue. I just felt like it wasn't quite showing up against that previous layer. So. Um, you just want it just dark enough to you can see the difference in the different layers not too not too dark and not too light so just kind of play with it until you get the right adjustment now I'm going back and I'm putting a couple of trees in there that are covering over my previous layer and by doing that that kind of pushes that layer that's in the background back and brings your front layers forward 
So if you'll notice here in the last couple of times, um, last couple of layers here, I'll do the same thing. I will um, make sure that I have at least one or two trees that go back up over the top of my previous layer. And that really helps set them into the background. Now this color is straight ultramarine blue, but here again, since I've got the other colors in my brush and also on the canvas are still wet, they're kind of blending a little bit, so it's not, they're not showing up too dark. It's a little bit softened. So if you didn't, if you had a, a clean brush or you were mixing this color, you would just add a little bit of white to your ultramarine blue to kind of get this kind of soft. Not a lot though. It's pretty dark. Now I've got a color called Turquoise Deep and I'm mixing it with the ultramarine blue and I want to create a, a layer that's very dark. If you don't have turquoise, you could mix uh, blue and green. Like a thalo blue and a thalo green would create a color very similar to this. We're just creating kind of a, a blue-green color that's nice and dark. So I don't have, I've cleaned out my brush so that I don't have the previous colors in there anymore. It's just thalo blue and this, I'm sorry, ultramarine blue and turquoise deep mixed together. And I'm being a little bit more careful and making sure I've got nice fine points on my brush so that I get nice sharp tips on my trees and as you'll notice when I go out to the sides the very top of the tree will be straight up and down and then on either side as I go along the sides I tip my brush slightly out from center on either side so that they fan out just a little bit to create that pine tree shape. And if you've got a kind of a scruffy old brush, this is a perfect project to try for this, to use for it. It kind of helps to have those little fuzzy edges. And I'm using two trees here to really push back that background. I covered over two layers with that top tree and that really brings those trees into the foreground helps create depth now for the bottom of the canvas I decided to use a little bit of white mixed with my turquoise color to create kind of a lighter green color right at the very bottom of the canvas that just kind of pops those trees in the foreground out and kind of makes them look like maybe the sunlight's just catching them a little bit. If you wanted to, you could use black in the foreground here instead if you wanted to keep it really dark. It's up to you. This is your forest, your painting. You can kind of experiment and try different colors. Now once I got to this point, I decided I wanted a little bit more of a yellow glow to the sky so I watered down some cadmium yellow got very little paint on my brush and a little bit of water and I'm just very lightly washing over the top of that upper area mostly in the corners a little bit in the middle but mostly the darkest color is going to be in the corners and I added a little bit of that color the cadmium yellow uh, to my turquoise the light turquoise color just to brighten up that little and give it a little bit of pop of green on my foreground trees. And that's it. Pretty much all she wrote. Hope you've enjoyed this project. I hope you try it. If you do, please share it with me on my Facebook page. The links are in my description. And this is part of a uh, inspiration conspiracy hop. So if you want to check out the other videos in this art hop, go and check the first link in my description below. Click on that video, and when you get done with it, click on the next first video in the links and follow them all the way to the end. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you liked about it in the comments, and share it with your friends. That helps me out a lot. 
Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.